everybody. Welcome back. It's Lorenzo, Lazar Brand TV, LazarBrand.com, Botanica San Lazaro here in Clifton, New Jersey. Just want to thank you guys again for all the phone calls, the comments, the sharing. Oh, speaking of sharing, we're going to run a Facebook contest um, for all those who share our video this week. We're going to do a drawing on Monday, 1 o'clock, Facebook Live, and we're going to pick a winner and we're going to send today's kit, which is going to entail the candles, molasses, honey, cinnamon, yellow ribbon um, for our work this week. So we are going to um, be sending you guys out some free gifts for the lucky winner. And again, it's just thanks and appreciation for you guys supporting us and what we're doing. So this week, I want to do something pretty simple, but amazing. I feel like you guys can really get into it. Um, September uh, 7th and September 8th were Yemeya and Oshun's days. So I want to capitalize, even though we're a couple days late, but still that energy is really high. And I want to capitalize on that. And I want to do something for them that way, something for yourself, but giving back to them because this is how this works, right? So I want to start with Yemeya's number one, I want to say her number one uh, offering, which is a watermelon. So now watermelons, besides it being for Yemeya, can go for all the Orishas. It's very uplifting. It's, it's fresh, it's, it's an, a symbol of life. Anytime you're giving fruit, it's a symbol of life. So you could give watermelons or fruit to all the Orishas, but this particular one we're gonna do special for Yemeya. Okay, so for video purposes, I already cut my square, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a knife and you're gonna cut a square in your watermelon. So then that way, you can pop out a square. So now you popped out your square. So now we have a nice opening in our watermelon. Scoop some of the watermelon out, which I already did, which gives us room. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna write our desires, our wishes. <laughs> what we're asking Yemaya for. We're gonna fold this up. We're gonna stick this in here. Almost like, you know, message in a bottle. We're gonna put our desires there. We're gonna cover it. And then another one of Yemaya's favorite offerings is molasses. So with the molasses, now it's almost as if you're going to seal, even though obviously you're not going to seal it, but you're doing a spiritual seal on your offering. As you know what? I'm going to do something else too. I'm going to pour some molasses in there. So you could do that. That just kind of came to me. So pour some molasses in there and we're going to seal it up. And the whole time we're doing this, we're focusing, we're asking Yemiya for her help, we're asking Yemiya for her blessings. You're thinking about what it is you want, what it is you're trying to achieve, what is it you need help with. And we're gonna put that, if you have, obviously, santeros, if you have your Yemiya, put it in front of Yemiya. Um, if you're a regular practitioner, you know, get a candle for Yemeya, light it up. Again, ask for what you want. Present the watermelon to her. Ask for her blessings. If you have a statue, set up your statue, set up your candle. Ask for your blessings. Actually, let's just move this around. Boom. And this is going to be your offering for Yemeya. Special. Now, on this side, we're going to do Oshun. 
Oshun and Yamaya are the best of sisters. The river always flows and always meets the ocean. So therefore, their houses will always be connected. They're the closest of the sisters, okay? They always, always, always work well together. So I always recommend people doing, if you're doing something for Yamaya, do a little something for Oshun. Many people often get the sign that they always have to be equal. I always like to do a little something because again, their houses coexist and it's always good practice. So, and like I said, their days just passed. Coincidentally, Yamaya is on the 7th, Oshun is on the 8th. So we're doing something for both of them. Again, have my paper with all my desires, all my wishes. I'm gonna fold this up. This is gonna go in first. And Oshun, as you know, sweetness, love. But Oshun is the rivers of the world, which if you wanna flip it, the blood that runs through our veins. You wanna maybe taste a little bit of this. Okay, you definitely wanna do this when you go to the river, but you're always showing Oshun that her honey is safe because at one time somebody poisoned her honey. So we're gonna pour this honey in here. We're gonna ask Oshun again for her blessings. We're gonna ask for the things you want. You're gonna let her know what you need help with. You're gonna thank her. And you're gonna be going through this prayer in your head as you're putting in this bottle of honey, which always takes long to come out. But that gives you time to pray. That gives you time to focus. Oni, if you wanna know the word for honey and African or Yuban is Oni. So if you ever hear them say Oni, or you hear it in songs, Oni is honey. Oni Abeo, dark honey, is for Yamaya. So now we're gonna stick five, Oshun's number's five, so we're gonna stick five cinnamon sticks in here. Okay, it's not always gonna go the way you want but we're gonna do our best. So now we have a little offering for Oshun and we're gonna cap that off with, nice and sweet. So we're gonna have our candle here, boom. And then we're gonna have some sunflowers. One of, I mean, we could put flowers to all, again, to all the Orishas. They always love fruit, they always love flowers, can never go wrong. Um, one of Oshun's special flowers is the sunflower. It's nice and yellow, it's gold, it's full of life. And just to make this a little cute, I am a guy's guy and I'm not all girly and I'm not, but I wanna throw a little something on this little vase to make it a little presentable, make it somewhat special to Ochun. It's coming from my heart, but you're doing a little something there. For Ochun, we're gonna make this look pretty. Oop, we lost sunflower down. We're gonna make this look pretty for her. And we're gonna set that up like this, okay? So now we got a nice offering for Ochun. We got a very nice offering, simple, but like we said in the beginning, but amazing. So we're putting two really good things out there for Oshun and Emiya, and you're asking for what we want. We're asking for their help. We're asking them to guide us. We're praying to them, and we're giving thanks to them by doing these offerings, okay? When you're done, after five, five days is Oshun, seven days is Yamaya. We don't wanna make it complicated. If you can, go to the ocean, do so. Bring your offering to Yamaya, okay? That's where she lives. That's where we make our offerings, okay? Not everybody's gonna be able to go to the, what if you live in Mississippi? 
Is there an ocean there? I'm not sure, but I'm just thinking Mississippi River um, and in the middle of the country. So you not, might not be able to reach a beach. You might not be able to get to salt water. So what do you do? As we said in the beginning, Yamaya and Oshun um, always coexist. The river always meets the ocean. So we're gonna go to the river and we're gonna make our offerings to Oshun. And how do we do that? We're gonna bring these flowers. We're gonna bring our honey and our cinnamon and everything. We're gonna go to the river and one by one, we're gonna be offering the flowers. And as you're doing that, you're talking to Oshun. You're giving her a flower and you're, again, stating your desires, you're stating your wishes. So you're giving her the flower. Thank you, Oshun, for everything. Blah, blah, blah. You know, another flower, et cetera, et cetera. You know, and you go one by one doing that. Now, the thing with the honey, like I said, one time, Oshun, in one of the stories, I don't know the exact sign right now, but she was poisoned. So it's, you always have to show Oshun that her, her honey is safe. So as you pour the honey, take a little scoop, taste it, okay? And you're gonna pour the honey and the cinnamon and your paper, let it all go into the river, okay? Don't throw your cup, take it home, wash it, keep it for the next time, okay? Same thing with the, with the watermelon. If you could get to the ocean, talk to Yemeya, to her everything that's going on once again and we're gonna go bowling just go bowling roll roll your your watermelon right into the ocean okay if you want to get into the ocean and you want to give it to her knock yourself out same thing with the river with Oshun if you want to get into the river and do your thing you know however it is that you're gonna connect there's nothing wrong God forbid you are in the middle of the desert and you can't get to a river, you can't get to an ocean, okay, dispose of your fruits and your flowers, you know, take it off your altar, bring it to the garbage. They understand, they know you can't make it, okay? It's not because you don't want to, it's because you can't take a plane and go to Miami for a vacation and with your watermelon, okay? So taking your, your offerings before they wither and die and spoil, um, get it off your altar, say thank you, and dispose of it the right way, okay? So that's our amazing, simple ritual this week. Again, Yemaya's day, Oshun's day just passed, so we want to give a little something special for them. I hope you have a good weekend. Leave you guys with some good music. Even in song, we're talking so much about Yemayan or Shun being connected. And this song, Omi means water. Ye Ye means is the traditional name for Oshun in African, okay? But when you see Omi Ye Ye together, it's the mother of the mother of the water, which is saying is giving praise to Yemaya. So that's how we're going to connect all this through our rituals, through our music, through our blessings. I wish you guys the best. Have a great weekend. Any questions, comments, give us a call. Shoot us an email. We're always here for you guys. Have a good one. Oh, and share the video. Yes, Jed. Share the video. Enter the contest. We will have a winner. Uh, Oshun candle. Yamaya candle. Honey cinnamon, molasses, all the things you need to complete this ritual that you can't get at your supermarket will be included. Have a good one. Have a great weekend.